Imagine a star so peculiar that even after 60 years of study, scientists remain baffled. A star that defies the very laws of nature as we understand them. This is HD 101065, better known as Przybylski's star, a celestial enigma that refuses to be categorized. What makes it so strange? The answer lies in its atmosphere, home to elements that shouldn't exist naturally. These elements are typically man-made on Earth, created through processes in nuclear reactors or particle accelerators. Yet here they are, seemingly thriving in the atmosphere of a distant star. How is this possible? What secrets is Przybylski's star hiding? Could it be a sign of something we've yet to understand, or even something otherworldly? At first glance, Przybylski's star doesn't look much different from other stars. It's slightly hotter than our sun, emits light across the spectrum, and has a relatively strong magnetic field. However, one peculiar feature stands out. It's incredibly slow rotation. This allows scientists to analyze its atmosphere in unprecedented detail, and what they found was nothing short of shocking. The star's atmosphere contains a plethora of short-lived radioactive elements, promethium, half-life, 17 years, einsteinium, half-life, 470 days, californium, curium, plutonium, and even neptunium. These elements decay rapidly. Even if they existed billions of years ago, their short half-lives mean they should have completely vanished long before now. Yet here they are, as fresh as if they were created yesterday. How is this happening? Could the star itself be continuously generating these elements? If so, what mechanism is at play? Take Promethium, for example. On Earth, this element was first synthesized in 1945 during the dawn of nuclear science. Its half-life is so short that any naturally occurring Promethium would have decayed millions of years ago. Yet, in Przybylski's star, it exists in abundance. This suggests one of two possibilities. One, Promethium is being produced in real time within the star's atmosphere. Two, an unknown process is replenishing it continuously. Both explanations challenge our current understanding of stellar chemistry. Now let's consider Einsteinium. This element was first discovered in 1952 during hydrogen bomb tests. It has never been found in nature, not once. Yet bizarrely, this star appears to harbor Einsteinium in significant quantities. Then there's Californium, an element created by bombarding curium with helium nuclei. Californium doesn't form in typical stellar processes like fusion. So how did it get there? And here's another twist. Iron, the most common element in stars, is almost completely absent in Przybylski's star. This is no ordinary star. To unravel this mystery, scientists have proposed numerous theories. Here are the three most compelling. One, a neutron star companion. Some suggest Przybylski's star is part of a binary system with a neutron star. The neutron star's intense radiation could bombard Przybylski's atmosphere, producing these exotic elements. However, recent observations show no evidence of a companion star, leaving this theory on shaky ground. Two, decay of unknown elements. Another theory posits that the radioactive elements we observe are the byproducts of undiscovered super heavy elements. These unknown elements could have formed during a nearby supernova and are now decaying into the ones we detect. Three, an alien civilization's calling card. The most audacious hypothesis? 
that these elements are the remnants of alien activity. Imagine a highly advanced civilization using the star as a cosmic billboard, intentionally seeding its atmosphere with artificial elements as a way of signaling their presence. The famed astrophysicist Carl Sagan once speculated that intelligent life might leave traces of their existence in the most conspicuous places, like stars. After all, leaving such a marker would be far more efficient than sending radio signals that may take millennia to reach other civilizations. Despite decades of research, Przybylski's star remains one of astronomy's greatest unsolved mysteries. Is it the result of natural phenomena we don't yet understand? Or could it indeed be evidence of something more extraordinary, something that challenges our perception of the universe and our place within it.